Obviously, there are a lot of happy Seminoles today, none more so than our baseball team. We, uh, we had our ups and downs, but this is the second season. This is what the freshmen have prepared themselves to do. We know that we're going into a very tough situation. The University of Georgia is obviously an outstanding team. We know how good Florida Atlantic is from talking to people in our state. And I tell you, anything can happen. Georgia is, is not on our mind right now, no pun intended. Florida Atlantic is on our mind. Coach, does the, the, does the pressure kind of come off? I mean, you guys are in. There was kind of a talk over the last month of being on the bubble. Does the pressure come off now that you're in and start the season again 0-0? Yeah, it, it, it really is, Lane. It's, there's, there's no way that you feel the same as you did four hours ago when you didn't know whether you were going to get to a regional or not. And then when the camera flashed the last four in and you saw that we were one of the last four in, I assure you there's no pressure like what we were experiencing. Levin, how did you handle the game against NC State? If you're the last four in, it kind of might mean that if you hadn't won that game, you not, might not be in the tournament. Did you talk to your players about that? Was there, I mean, they handled it well, no matter if you talked to them or not. But what was that pressure like, and did you feel it? I'd have to say I felt it, but I, I, just, I just looked at the, the past, and I thought that our 17 wins in the league was something that had always indicated you qualify for a regional. But I, I think you said it the best. We needed that ball game probably more than I realized. And our players knew that if we could win that one, it would certainly put us in a better position than we were in. And the way that we went out and got it done is certainly just a credit to our young men. Coach, you haven't been on the road in the regional in nine years. You know, how much different is it and how do you prepare for it? I think preparation wise, you're, you're just looking at playing a team that's farther away from home than we are. Our job is to just approach it as a game that is the most important game up to this point that we will play all year. And then the next game is the most important game that you will play all year. So it's just it's a fun situation. It's, it's exciting to be in this position. We know that you can never figure this sport of baseball out. There's always something that could arise. And I'm just hoping that uh, one of, or two of our players will do something that we didn't expect them to do. And of course, I'm speaking of doing it well. Let's hope that we can do the little things it takes to be successful. And I know that our guys are excited. This is what they came to Florida State to do, was to have an opportunity to be on national television, to, to have a chance to go to Omaha. That's, that's that's this whole thing. We got a chance to go to Omaha. Is it a great chance? Well, any chance is a great chance. So we know we need to play better than we have most of the year. 
in order to achieve a goal. Do you expect to be able to perish against that venue? Yes. Yes. Parish will pitch the first game and CJ will pitch the second game. Coach, the last time you guys went out in Tallahassee for regional, you won the regional and then went on to Omaha and ended up. Can there be less pressure for a team going on the road when they're all together in a, a different city, kind of like more of a business trip? Well, back when you, when you were in grade school, we went up there and played in a regional in this same ballpark. And uh, I can tell you that that atmosphere up there is a lot different than the atmosphere that we had in Connecticut. Uh, in fact, we didn't play in Connecticut. We played Oregon, I believe twice that they, they beat Connecticut. We know that we'll we'll have to play outstanding baseball to to get this done. This this day of extra outs and expecting to so-called get it done puts a lot of pressure on you. What was the last 24, 48 hours like for you? You didn't know for sure if you were in if you had coached your last game or not. I didn't sleep or darn and I usually can sleep through a hurricane. I just was thinking about were the teams that we missed not playing in the league, which we had nothing to do with. That's 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 done by a computer. And is that going to be used against us? I mean, we. We've never said we don't want to play this particular person or we don't want to play this particular person. We'll, we'll line up and play. And I was, of course, thinking, well, that, 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 was, a, was a, that was an important game that we played with NC State. I think it turned out to be, like you said, more important than we thought. So, yeah. I'm uh, I'm very relieved to know now that we're going to Athens for a regional, and it's not going to be an easy route to the next level. That's for sure. Well, then you alluded to the idea of being a second season. Uh, how much does wiping that slate clean sort of almost feel like a breath of fresh air for? everybody and getting a new start and a new opportunity. It is. You could see it in their faces when they saw their name up there. They knew that uh, it's a new day. They're, they're excited right now on the field, I'm sure, even though it may be a 98 out there. But I'm sure that our guys are, are really, really pumped up because we now know we did not know.